are you today? Today we're going to be talking about favorites and least favorites for the month of November. I actually didn't do October, so it's going to be kind of like October and November mixed together. But we're going to be talking about my favorite products first. We're going to talk about my least favorite products at the end. So if you guys are excited for that, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. Oh, and if you didn't see my last makeup releases video, yes, I have a cold, <laughs> so my voice sounds weird. Um, but yeah, that's about it, so let's get to it. All right, guys, the first thing I want to talk about in this video is one that I have just been so excited to tell you guys about. I know I've talked about it in a few videos about how much I'm enjoying it, but you guys, this has become my absolute all-time favorite mascara. It's a pricey one. She is expensive, you guys, but totally worth every single penny if you ask me. You guys know, I use a good mixture of high-end and drugstore makeup, but I actually prefer to buy cheaper makeup because I feel like high-end makeup often disappoints me. I feel like it happens a lot with high-end makeup where I end up disappointed because it's not giving me the result that I expected for the price that I'm paying. So this is one of those products that 100% is worth every single penny. I am happy to repurchase it. Do I wish it was cheaper? Sure. But am I happy to repurchase it? Sure. Have I still not said what this is? I don't think I have. <laughs> it's the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. This is a fantastic mascara. Now, if you're somebody that doesn't want a lot of volume, you just want length, this isn't going to be the mascara for you. To me, this is one that gives me length and volume at the same time, but you definitely get a ton of volume with this mascara. I feel like it really doesn't take a lot to really give your lashes that like ba ba boom kind of volume. Like I seriously can just take one coat of this, apply it just like this, and I've got amazing lashes. Now, when I want to really make them look intense, then I'll go in with two coats and I'll just kind of really pile it on. But I feel like it piles on really nicely. It looks good with one coat, it looks good with three coats. I love this mascara. Oh, and right now I actually just purchased two because they have a holiday kit. I found this out through Jessica Braun's holiday gift guide video. I'll link that down below if you guys want to see that. But she did a holiday gift guide, I think under $20 or something like that. She talked about this mascara and it comes in a set with their eye makeup remover as well. And you can get them both for $20, but this mascara is normally $25. So amazing deal. I purchased two just so I could have backups of this and I only paid $20 for the mascara and the remover. So I thought that was a good deal. Okay, the next thing, I cannot remember if I've talked about this on my channel yet or not. I feel like I should have by now, but I don't think I have. If I have, I'm mentioning it again. I'm mentioning it again because I love it. It's the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. This is so good, you guys. I actually got this because Jay Kissa talks about this product all the time on her channel. So I use this before I apply my makeup to really hydrate the skin, and then I can go in and apply my makeup, and I just feel like it leaves my skin really, really nice and hydrated. It's, I guys, I have very dry skin, so I need all the extra hydration I can get, and I feel like this totally gives it to me. But then I also like to use it after my makeup to give me that like kind of, or like kind of like melt the makeup into my skin, make it look really fresh and nice and not so kind of caked on. I love this stuff. It's very similar like in feel and what it does to my skin as my MAC Fix Plus, but you know, not they're not exactly the same, but they kind of do the same thing. <laughs> if you're wondering about the sprayer in here, it's one that's kind of in the middle. It's not too crazy intense in your face, but it's not super, super fine either which I don't like the ones that are super fine because then I feel like I don't actually get anything on my skin. So this was just right in between, really nice. Love that stuff. The next thing that is in my favorites this month, you guys actually saw me talk about these. I did a full like Elf, brand, Elf one brand tutorial and I talked about these products in that video, tried them out in that video and I have been obsessed, particularly with this one. This is the Elf Modern Metals Liquid Lipstick that came in their Modern Metals collection. This is the most beautiful fall lip color. I said in that video, it's like the perfect Thanksgiving lip. I absolutely still think that. Perfect Thanksgiving lip, perfect fall to winter kind of lip shade. And I actually really, really enjoy e.l.f.'s liquid lipstick formula. I think it's really nice. So there you have a swatch of the product there. Actually, let me just show you guys how not only smooth this is, but how opaque it is. Do you guys see that? So nice. Oh, I love this. It actually has like a little bit of a pointed wand, which I think is really nice for defining the lip without having to use a lip liner. You guys know I don't use lip liners. The e.l.f. liquid lipsticks, if you've never tried them, the matte liquid lipsticks, I think are actually not super drying. I have very, very drying lips, very, very dry lips. I don't find this formula to be drying at all on my lips and I actually find it to be really comfortable to wear, but isn't that just a beautiful shade, you guys? Oh, this is such a nice lip color. I feel like it's so unique. I'm obsessed with this. 
And then they actually also came out with a lip gloss in that one. Now, when I first was applying this to my lips, I was like, oh, that's a lot of glitter. I don't think I'm gonna like that. But actually, when you kind of blend it out, you know what, let me apply some of this right now. As you kind of blend it, it just looks so nice. It's, it doesn't have any color to it. It just adds a little bit of glossiness, a little bit of glitter. You do still get glitter in there, but it's not like, ooh, glitter bomb on your lips. It's just like beautiful, just the right amount of glitter. Not too little, not too much. It just looks stunning. I love to use this as a lip topper on top of other lip products like this color right here or any other lip colors that I'm using right now. I love to add this on top to give it a little bit something extra. I love a gloss. And I just feel like this is perfect for this time of year with the holidays coming and everything. A little glitter never hurt anyone around the holidays. <laughs> the last thing that I'm gonna talk about for my favorites this month is the Carity Picante Palette. I told you guys I was gonna pick this up last month. I am so happy that I got this, you guys. This is a beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palette. So I already kind of love Carity shadows. I think they're really, really nice. They're so pigmented. They're very soft, easy to blend, just really, really nice shadows. And actually they donate a proceed, a, pro, a, a percentage of the proceeds. <laughs> I can't talk. They donate a percentage of their proceeds to animal charities, which I think is really nice also. So you're kind of like supporting a good cause when you buy a palette from them. But this is just such like right up my alley for this, again, this time of year. It's fall, winter's coming, and I just like these are really nice shades for fall and winter because you've got like those really nice red tones. You've got some nice neutrals in here that I also really love in the fall paired with this lip color right here. Oh my gosh. This is like the perfect fall look right here, right here. But yeah, I just really like this formula. I think it's just as good as any of their other palettes if you've tried them before. They're very pigmented, very intense color payoff, and they blend easily on the lid. There's nothing difficult to blend about these at all. So I just, I love this palette. I'm so happy to have this one in my collection. If you guys haven't tried Carity before, I recommend starting with this one because this is a beautiful palette, but if you love color, they also have some colorful palettes on there that are really nice. I highly recommend trying them, you guys. Okay, let's get into the products that I don't like. A few of these I actually talked about in my, what was it? Makeup, oh, makeup that I'm throwing out video. I'll put that up here. I think that was the last video, no, two videos ago, but I'll put it up here in the eye and I'll put it down in the description box as well. Oh my gosh, I have swatches all over my hands right now. <laughs> That's not fun, okay. But yeah, I'm gonna talk about those first, the ones that I've already told you guys about in, a, in my throwing out video. The first one is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Liquid Makeup Foundation. This is an awful foundation, you guys. I liked it at first because I like, when you first put it on, you get that really nice natural kind of finish to your skin. It's not too heavy or anything like that, and it actually looks really pretty on the skin when you first apply it. As the day goes on, the way that it wears, the way that it fades throughout the day, it left me looking a little bit like a leopard where parts of my skin were darker than other parts of my skin. It was so weird, so odd. That's never happened to me with any foundation, but every time I would look, in my, look at my face in the mirror, I would look sick or I would look like, it was just very odd, very odd darkness around my face that I was not a fan of. So this one, I am not a fan of it at all. I don't recommend that one at all. The next one that I also already talked about in that video is the uh, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, <laughs> excuse me, mascara. This is the waterproof version and that is truly the only reason that I didn't like this mascara. I didn't find it to be volumizing at all. It's got that really nice wand that I like, but the waterproof formula of it just really made my lashes kind of stick together, look very sparse and very spidery not cute at all. This one just did not look good on my lashes. That's typical for me with waterproof mascaras though, so I don't feel like I can knock this mascara specifically. It's just the waterproof version, not a fan of. Okay, the next thing is the YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer. So I actually just got a little sample size version of this because again, I am constantly being burned by high-end makeup where it just doesn't work for me and this one was one of those so this one i actually i mean you can see i've used a pretty decent amount of this this a little bit really does go a long way with this one you guys but i just felt like it has little bits let me see if you guys are going to be able to see this on camera do you guys see that it has like little bits of glitter inside it so i thought that the little bits of glitter wouldn't show up on my skin I was wrong. Every time I use this, I have a little bit, and I would just use it kind of right here where I get a lot of pore, uh, pore issues and then up here. And I still found that every time I used it, I had glitter in those spots that I placed it. So not only that, I feel like it doesn't actually blur my face that well. I have drugstore primers that kind of act the same way on my skin as this one does. So not a huge fan of this. I didn't feel like it did much. I would never buy the full size of this. And I'm glad that I got the sample before I got the full size. 
And then the very last thing we're going to talk about is the Skin Garnier Garnier Skin Active Moisture Balm. So I actually got this one day when I ran out of my moisturizer and I was waiting for a new one to come in the mail. If you guys don't know, I use Beauty by Design moisturizer. I was waiting for the new one to come in the mail. And so I picked this up on a whim just at my grocery store one day and it does not do anything for my skin. So if you guys can see, it's one of those like gel formula moisturizers that a lot of people actually say are really good for dry skin. So I thought I would try it. This is not good for my dry skin at all. Sit down. Yeah, sit right there. <laughs> my kids are in here. But anyway, I have very, very dry skin, so maybe that's why, but I just felt like this sat on top of my skin instead of sinking into my skin and giving me that moisture. Because it just sat on my skin, I don't feel like I had any moisture at all from this, uh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> Moisturizer. So not good for me with my dry skin. If you guys have dry skin and you've tried this or you've tried a gel formula, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys like, what you guys think of them, do you agree, are they bad on your skin like they are on mine? I don't know if it's just me. But anyway, that's gonna do it. That's everything that I've loved and hated for the month of November and sort of kind of October too. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.